Hey, this is Steve from BC Barker Creations. This is going to be a how to build a hatchling rack video. Um, as you guys already know, I build my own racks. And this, they're built out of three quarter inch melamine from Home Depot. Um, I'm going to give you a list of materials you're going to need. You know, depending on what you, you're actually making it out of. Um, three quarter inch melamine, which is this material here. You're going to need your tubs. Which I got a whole stack of tubs here. Because I'm just doing a hatchling rack. These are six quart Sterilite tubs. They ran out of clear, so I got a couple of blue. Um, you're going to need two inch to two and a half inch screws. I use two and a half inch screws so that there's a good long, they're going to come in about to here, so it's a nice long set in so that they're holding the weight real good. The edging is this edging here. You're going to need that. And I'm going to go through and show you everything. Um, flex watt, which is the heat in the back. Um, I'm going to show you that too. Thermostat, which is, here's a thermostat, and here's another thermostat. Um, I like to use surge protectors for to plug the thermostats into, just in case. Just to be safe, I'd rather not have to buy another one. Clamps, or extra set of hands to help you build it. Um, old CDs or DVDs to create your spacing between the shelves and, and the tubs. We're going to be using either foil tape or packing tape. You might want a calculator. Your, your work surface should be somewhat level. You're going to need a square, a drill and bits, maybe a screwdriver, and a lot of patience. But uh, we're going to go right through and show you how to build a hatchling rack right from start to end. But keep watching. Might be in multiple parts, I'm not sure yet. But uh, thanks for watching. Okay. First thing you're going to want to do is decide what size tubs you're going to use. I'm going to use six quart Sterilite tubs. And you're also going to need to figure out how tall you want your rack. So, I'm over here. I want the rack to be roughly around the height of these racks. They're both six, six foot racks, but this one's on wheels, so it's a little taller. Um, so, and I want it to fit in here. So this is what I'm going to do. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my tub, and I'm sorry about the mess. We're kind of moving stuff around, and and I'm going to take another piece of wood, any kind of flat wood. Make sure your tub's on flat, and I'm going to measure from here to the bottom of this wood to find out how tall the tubs are. So these tubs are four and a half inches tall. So I'm going to write that down. Four and a half inches. Okay, now come over here. The melamine is three quarter inches wide. Okay, you got that. Okay. Mellow means three quarter inches wide. So we want to add four and a half to three quarter inches. Okay, so that's going to come out to five and one quarter inch. Okay, and I'll show you an easy way to do that if you're not real good at math. Is here's your four and a half, and the melamine is three quarters. So here's one quarter two quarter three quarters so five and a quarter inch so that's how much each shelf with the tub is going to take up space on the, the rack so now we're going to figure out like i said i want it to be a six foot rack so we're going to figure out six feet is 72 inches so 72 inches divided by we're going to go 72 inches uh, divided by 
five and a quarter inches. So five point two five. And that equals 13.7 tubs is what I could get on there. So I'm going to round it up. I want, I want to try and get 15 tubs. So let's see what 15 tubs looks like. If, uh, let's see here. So we're going to clear this out. I'm going to try and get 15 tubs. And if I have room, I'm going to put it in there. So we're, we'll go the opposite now. 15, because I want 15 tubs times uh, five and a quarter inches so five point two five and that equals seventy eight point seven five inches so seventy eight and three quarter inches seventy eight and three quarter inches okay so now what we're gonna figure out is uh, will I have enough is this too tall for the space I have? So let's go measure the space I've got. I'm gonna measure from the floor up to see how tall 78 and 3 quarter inches are. So I'm at the floor. And I'm good. I've got 78 and 3 quarter inches and just above this rack, but that's alright. It's a little bit taller and it's fine. So I'm going to go with that. Now, so we have basic height. So let's see here. 78 and 3 quarter inches. Alright, so we measure that for 15 shelves, shelves and tubs, it's going to be 78 and 3 quarter inches. Now that doesn't count a top shelf to go over the top of the very top tub. So you're going to have to add on to your height three quarters of an inch to add to have room for your tub. So I'm going to add on to 78 and three quarter inches another three quarter inches so it's going to be 79 and a half inches tall so like i said you could do the same thing if you're not real good at math pull your thing all the way out get to the 78 and three quarters so you're right here 78 and three quarters and add three quarters of an inch more one two three so now we're at 79 and a half inches tall. Okay, so we're going to write that down. Right now we're at 79 and one half inches tall. And that's going to be fine. I like this lip on the top. So this little lip on the top, and it makes like a little thing so nothing can roll off the back. You know, this one doesn't have it. I wish it did, but I like this on there. I, on my other hatchling rack, the short hatching rack, I put that on there too. I like it just so that nothing can fall off the back. Um, it kind of helps support the flex lot in the back so it's not flopping back and forth. Hopefully it's not doing that anyways, but... So I'm going to just round it to 80 inches tall. Plus that gives you a little bit of play. So we're going to take so that now you know the height is going to be 80 inches tall for the hatchling rack. So 80 inches tall for the hatchling rack. I'm going to circle it. That way I know that's my, my thing. Now I want to double check again. Make sure I have enough room for 80 inches. And you always want to double check. Double check everything. So yep, I got enough room for 80 inch tall rack here. So that's what we're going to go with. Now we're going to want to measure the diameter, the dimensions of your tub. So we're going to do that now. And I'm going to do this on a couple of them so that I know, you know, what their, their size is. First I'm going to do the length and try to do it in the middle. Right now I've got 13 and a half inches. So I'm going to give it an extra inch so that it'll set into the, to the rack like these set in. So I want it to set into the rack. So I'm going to go 
Let's see, it's 13 and a half inches. I'm gonna go 14 and a half inches. So the depth of my of the rack is gonna be 14 and a half inches. So I'm gonna write that down. And I like to draw pictures, so so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna draw a picture of my shelf. This is a tub on the shelf. This is a tub on the shelf. It's not a very good picture, but so I want my shelf to be 14 and a half inches this way from here to there. Okay, and the tubs are going to slide out here. Okay, so now I need to find out how wide the tubs are. So, and I'm going to do this on a couple of Oh, so on this one, it looks like it's about almost seven and three quarter inches. And if you go out here, it's closer. It's more like seven and a half. So let's grab another tub, measure another one to see where it sits. And this one looks smaller. This one's only about what is it, seven and about five eighths roughly let me grab another one check it out let's see this one's about seven and five eighths so let's see we'll grab another one just to see I just want to get kind of a seven and five eighths okay so the, the tubs are probably about seven and five eighths so we're gonna write that down okay so seven and five eighths is how wide each tub is so you gotta times that by two so Let's see here, seven and five eighths. I'll show you the easy way. Uh, where am I? Seven and five eighths is right there. So we're gonna. It's gonna be fourteen. Let's see. I'm going seven and seven is fourteen, and a and a half and a half will make fifteen. And an eighth and an eighth is going to make 15 and a quarter inches wide. That makes sense? Okay. So, you're right here. So, like I said, you want two. So, seven plus seven is 14. So, you have 14 plus this half inch is going to make it 14 and a half plus another half inch is going to be 15 plus two eighths which is a quarter so fifteen and a quarter inches so our shelves are fifteen and one fourth inches wide so now what you want to figure out so now you have the dimensions of your shelf so there's that now you're going to want to figure out do I have enough room from here Depending on what where your space is, maybe you have unlimited room, but I only have enough room from here to here to fit a rack in here. So we're gonna see if this will fit. So I have let's see, it's about 18 inches. Right from here to here, 18 inches. So and remember, melamine is three quarters of an inch. So on each side, you need to add three quarters of an inch to find out if you have enough room. So you got 15 and a quarter. So we'll go back to the easy way. So right here you're at 15 and a quarter is how wide the shelf is. But with the outside wall on it, it's going to be, there's one quarter, two quarters, three quarters. And you got to do that twice for both sides. So one quarter, two quarters, three quarters. So it's only going to be 16 and three quarter inches wide. So we have enough room, we have more, there's another inch and three quarters or whatever left. So we have enough room for, the, for it. Okay, so 
hopefully I'm not confusing you guys. Because it is kind of confusing. Okay, so we got our shelf dimensions. We got our height. So we know it's 80 inches tall. And we just figured out how deep we want it too. So the depth from here to the back is going to be 14 and a half inches plus three quarters of an inch because I want the back to set inside of the rack and you'll see that later. So I'm going to add three quarters of an inch to 14 and a half to get get the width of the outside wood. So here I'm going to draw a picture for you. Let's see. This is going to be a picture of the rack say. And I don't know how many shells, you know, I'm just going to do it quick. So now we want to build this side, or we want to figure out what size this needs. We just figured out all our shelves are going to be this size. This is going to be our shelves. So we want to figure out so that this edge, if I have a piece of wood here, and that's going to be like the top view looking down. I want this piece of wood to actually go like that. So that when I put the back on, the back sets inside of these two outside pieces. It'll set inside of here. So this measurement I want to add three quarters of an inch. So I'm going to add to this three quarters of an inch. Let's do it the easy way. You got your measurement 14 and a half. So there's 14 and a half, and you go one, two, three, 15 and a quarter inches. So this, the depth dimension is going to be 15, what did I say? 15 and a quarter inches, I 15 think. 15 and a quarter inches, okay. So you know you already, your height is 80 by your width is going to be 15 and 1 fourth inches. So there we already have our sides. It's this side and the side over here that you don't see. So that's that's one measurement and you're going to need two of them. Because you need one for each side. Okay, now your shelves you know are going to be 14 one half inches by 15 and one quarter whoops one quarter inches and you're gonna need you got 15 shelves or 15 shelves to put tubs in you're gonna need 16 of these because you're gonna need one on top so you're gonna need 16 of those now we're gonna figure out the back the back measurements gonna be your height which is 80 inches so there's 80 inches and then your shelf width so that it'll set inside so that's going to be 15 and a quarter inches oh wait a minute how is that hey, that works out good okay so the back we just figured out is going to be the same as the sides which is awesome that makes it a lot easier so you're going to need three of those and you're going to need 16 of these. Okay, now you need to figure out how many screws you need for the whole thing. Okay, so, so what I, I figure is I'm going to put, this is your shelf. I'm going to put two screws in on each side like this. So, there's your shelf. So you need six screws per shelf. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So, depending on the rack. This rack has a lot more. If you see, there's three on each shelf. This rack, come over here, over here. This rack only has two. So, it's going to be a basic same thing. There's two here, two in the back, two on the side. 
So you need six per shelf. So you're gonna go, you know you got 16 shelves. So that's 16. Oops. Clear that. 16. Where's it times? Times six equals. So you need 96 screws. For the whole thing, you need 96 screws. Okay, now you want to measure for your edging. So you know you have 15 and a quarter inches for every shelf, which you're going to want your edging right across this sh each shelf. So you know they're all nice. So you got to figure that out. So now you're going to take 15 and a quarter inches. Okay, so 15 point, oops, 15 point two five times 16. And that equals 244 inches. So we're just going to jot that down, 244 inches. Now you're also going to want to figure out how much you're going to need to cover this edge on both of these. So we're going to take, and that's, that's your height, so you know 80 inches times 2, so that's 160 inches. So we'll write that down, so 160 inches, and then I finish the top too right all the way back on top here I finished that and the back back there so we need to figure that out so your width is gonna be 15 and a quarter inches so we're gonna need two of those for each of the top each side on the top and actually three all of these so you're gonna go 15 and a quarter inches times three so we'll go 15 Point two five times three equals forty five. We'll round it up to forty six inches. So there's forty six inches there. Now you're going to take all these that we measured and add them up together. So we'll go. Uh, let's clear this. Forty six plus. One six oops forty six plus one sixty plus two forty four equals four hundred and fifty inches. So the edging, we're gonna write down edging is 450 inches. I don't know, I can't remember if, it, if they mark it in inches or feet or what, so we're gonna divide this so we know how many feet it is too. Divide it by 12 inches. And that equals 37.5 feet. So 37.5 feet. Okay, so that's how much edging we're gonna need. That's the edging is this white stuff. We're gonna find it and we're gonna see how much we need of that. So right there is what we need for that rack. So 37.5 feet or 450 inches, depending on which way it's written on the packaging. Okay, and then let's see. One thing I forgot about was your spacing and you're going to use CDs or DVDs for spacing and I already added a half an inch to the height because I want that that little lip around the top I'm going to add another half an inch for the spacing on uh, just so that you have some extra some extra room to uh, so you can put the CDs in between the shelves so you, the tubs aren't too tight. So I'm going to add another half an inch. So we're at 80 and a half inches tall instead of 80. Um, now we're going to figure out 
how to get the most wood out of it out of the, out of the melon or how to get the most pieces out of the melamine without having to buy too much wood so I'm gonna take and draw it's gonna be just a 48 inch by 96 inch piece of melamine they actually come 49 by 97 I believe is the dimensions of it so now I'm gonna try and figure out how how can I cut the melamine in what dimension obviously your 80 and a half inches is going to be cut lengthwise so you know you're going to get whatever out of that so let's take the width into the the width of the of each upright into the width of of the melamine so the width of the melamine is 48, I'm going to say 48 inches. I know they're 49, but, so we're going to divide that by 15 and a quarter inches. So, 15.25 equals. So I can get all three pieces out of one. So I know all three pieces are going to come out of one. There's going to be a little bit left on the end. So there's one two three so we're just gonna draw up like this so you got one two three and there's gonna be a little strip down one side okay now you're gonna take and let's see your height is 80 and a half and the melamine is 96 oops usually most sheets of, of stuff the only reason I know is because I've done it a while is uh, eight by four foot so eight feet times 12 is 96 inches so there's your height it's actually 97 but we're gonna call it 96 so we're gonna minus your height which is 80 and a half inches so we're gonna take that from the 96 so 80.5 equals 15 and a half inches so at the end somewhere you got 15 and a half inches left. So these are going to be cut out like this. So you got, you need this piece. This is one of your pieces. This is one of your pieces. And this is one of your pieces. Now you got this space over here. There's no other way to cut these other than that direction. So we're going to take, uh, see what your shelves are. Your shelves are 15 and a quarter inches by 14 and a half so guess what you can get three shelves out of this section here so there's three shelves out of that section there because you still have 15 and a half inches left from here to there now you gotta take an account for uh, your quarter inch you know eighth to a quarter inch cut of the blade is gonna take that right out but you also have an extra inch because it's a, on melamine it's actually 97 inches so we'll be all right or you can switch it the other way and cut it 14 and a half inches from here to there and do your 15 the other way so here's what we're going to figure out now we're going to draw another sheet of melamine and figure out how many shelves Let's see, where's our measurements? Right here, 15 and a quarter inches by 14 and a half inches. So I'm going to take the 48 across here. Like I said, it's a 48 by 96 piece. So I'm going to see how many shelves I can get across the 48 inches. So let's clear this. So 48 divided by uh, 15 and a quarter inches. Let's try that. 15.25. Where is it? Equals. Guess what? We can get three across there. Okay. So we'll write that down. We can get three across there. All right. Now let's see what we can get across the other way. Because if you can get more one way than the other, then we'll you'd want to do that. So we'll clear this again. And the other way is 96, so divided by 15 and a quarter. 15.25 
equals six. So you can get six one way and three the other. So either way, you got it. Um, Cause six times three is what eighteen? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it, you got it because you got your sixteen shelves and then so. So you're gonna have a little strip over here again. And you're gonna have your three shelves. And then you're gonna have six the other way. Which you just, it doesn't matter. You can cut the, you got it all in focus. You can cut it either 15 and quarter inches or four and a half either direction and it won't matter. You still get the same amount out of it. So you're gonna, have it a cut like this. Let's see, one, two, three, four. So it's all going to be cut like this. So you're going to get all your shelves out of just two sheets. So now we know we only need two sheets of melamine, and you'll have some extra shelves for the next rack you build. If you build another one the same size. So we know that we can cut these at 15 and a quarter inch, oops, I keep writing that. 15 and a quarter inches, 15 and a quarter inches, 15 and a quarter inches. All these can be 15 and a quarter inches right there at that, right, you know, across here. Now the other way, these are gonna be cut at 14 and a half inches. All these be cut that from here to there. <coughs> So when you cut them, I would rip them all, all one, you know, one size first. Then you're going to want to, you know, rip all the rest the other way or whatever. So now you know you need two sheets of melamine. So that's on our list, two sheets of melamine. So we'll write that down. Two sheets mel. And then you want... You want three at eighty and a half inches by fifteen and one fourth inches. You want three of those. Then you want sixteen at fourteen and a half inches by fifteen and a quarter inches. Then we also need, um, let's see, edging. So we're going to need 450 inches or 37.5 feet edging. And I think it's called Bandit. I'll write that down, Bandit. So. Then you're going to need 96, at least 2 inch, I use 2 and a half inch screws. I just use drywall screws, um, decking screws, whatever you want to use, it's up to you. Alright, then we also are going to need, you got 80 and a half inches, so I'm going to order 8 feet. of oops 11 inch flex watt I always order extra and I'm going to tell you I'm going to do something different on this rack that I didn't do on my other ones because the bottom shelves never heat good enough the bottom shelf I'm going to do uh, I'm going to bring the 11 inch flex watt down and it's going to heat the back and belly heat on the bottom shelf. That way, hopefully, I can actually use the bottom shelf. Whereas these, these other racks I have, I, I really can't because they're too cool. I could use them for something else, but not for ball pythons. But um, So I'm going to order 8 feet of flex watt. And you're going to need your thermostat. And um, Let's see what else we need. Um... Your surge protector. Um, what else? Foil tape. We're going to put that down so I don't forget. Tape. I want some packing tape. I love packing tape. 
Uh, what else? Alright, I think that's it. I've already bought my tubs. Um, I knew what I wanted, so I went through, and I'm going to go through, and I'm going to price everything for you. I hope I can set it all out for you so that you can see exactly what everything's going to cost. Um, but I think that's it for now. I'm going to go back through, double check your numbers. That's what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go back through and double check all my numbers to make sure that I'm right. Because I do not want to go there. And I know the sheets, last time I bought the melamine, it was $40 a sheet. I don't want to go and have them cut it and not have it right. So I'm going to go back through all my numbers, double check everything. That's what you should do too if you're going to build one. Double check all your numbers and make sure you got the right amount. So and with the edging buy extra just so make sure you have more than enough because you may want to you know you, you'll have extra wood you might end up wanting to build something else out with it and i've used all of my edging up all the time so i never have enough edging but um so i'll come back in, a, in another video and hopefully by then i'll have everything to build it and show you all that and uh I don't know, we're going to try and sneak a camera in the Home Depot and film them cutting the wood and all that for you too. Maybe us shopping around or whatever, but we'll see what happens. Um, but thanks for watching.